the way I see microfibers is you can't just have one and think you're going to use it as a hammer, right? In your toolbox you guys have at yep. home, you don't just have a hammer, you have multiple tools. Well, you have multiple microfiber towels for different situations yeah. as well. And, yeah. and to our credit, uh, that's one thing that we really strive to do is figure out what towels are always going to be the best for each type of situation. Yeah. So um, if we go, if we start with just the terry weave, what we've got here is varying degrees of thickness in GSM. We have some 80-20, we have some 70-30 mixed in here. Yeah. Um, but on the Terry's, there are a few towels in that lineup that we could use to detail an entire car inside yep. and out okay. if we could only have one towel. Okay. So just because it's a Terry weave, we don't necessarily need to have a plush uh, towel for the job. Uh, a proper, good weighted, uh, good blended Terry weave towel yep. will work to do pretty much 100% of the car, which okay. is a really good good thing to have. However, longer pile towels like the circular knit weave or even like the creature, which is a dual pile, it yep. has a short nap on one side and, and a long fun. nap on the other. Yep. Um, they tend to lend themselves better in certain situations for sprayables. So think of things like drying aids, spray waxes, yep. spray sealants. Yes. Uh, let's say you've detailed the car and you know most of us are going to say oh we're in a dust free environment. Well it's not always dust free. If you're working in your garage at your house and you've just finished and you've blown off the car and it's all ready to yep. go and your your wife or girlfriend comes out and she hits the garage door and all the door opens, yep. the door opens, you've created a vacuum stuff comes in as well as whatever's on that garage door that is now making its way and moving is going to stuff's going to fall on it. Absolutely. So you're going to have contamination on the surface. Yeah. Especially when all you have left to do is maybe do a quick spray wax or a spray sealant or something that you need to wipe the car yes. down with. Yep. Uh, using a longer nap towel will work better to remove uh, those fine particles because it'll be able to give it that much uh, think of it like fingers going across they're able to pull them up farther into the surface, where if you tried to wipe the car down with something like this, yep. there's no which has no fibers. There is nowhere out. for that particle to go. Yes. Um, so it has more of a tendency to slide that particle around on the surface yep. by inherently adding more scratches. So, so this will pick it up more. This will pick it up. Fingers yeah. picking dirt up. Yep. yep. That'll pick it up better. Um, and the same with like this, the difference between a short nap and a long nap. The yep. long nap will have a better ability at removing particulates from the surface than the short nap. Though. Absolutely. Now the short naps come in handy really well when you're trying to um, uh, remove like a ceramic coating. Yes, using like the 300. Uh, a short nap works very well at removing a ceramic coating because a long nap towel, those fingers, think of them as fingers instead of, you know, almost like a, a, a shorter fingers, I guess you could say. Yeah. They're you have to work a little harder at trying to remove a ceramic coating Absolutely. with this towel. Especially if the coating gets sticky. Especially when if you're leveling it off or buffing yeah. it off. Yeah. It's going to be a lot harder to yeah. remove yeah. with something with longer fibers than something with a shorter fiber. This is going to have more surface area to grab yeah, absolutely. and get all that stuff off. Same so with see, polishes and waxes. Yep. See, guys, when we were talking sometimes on my channel, you know I love ceramic coatings. Um, when it's time to remove it, a lot of people think that because it's a protection item, sort of like a wax or a sealant, you'd want the plush or towel. Well, that's not the case because coatings tend to be a bit more grabby when it's time to level off. So you'd want a shorter nap towel just like this so it won't grab. And uh, yeah, you could do it, it'll facilitate your lives, trust me on this one. So, this is the Eagle 300, the edgeless, edgeless? edgeless 300. The Edgeless 300, okay. Yep. And so this is a 70 30 blend, so yes. it's a very soft, Absolutely. safe towel. Uh, so, if you ever do run into a soft paint that you just don't want to damage anymore, this uh, takes care of that as well. Absolutely. Uh, but it's a 300 GSM. So, uh, going back to the different, you know, plushness before we work into GSM. Yeah. Um, like I said, circular knit weaves, there's varying differentiations between them. So uh, this is a, a traditional circular knit, just like the Eagles, and so is this. Yeah. The difference between it is this is a short nap circular knit, and this is a longer nap circular knit. Okay. So it's woven the same way. The difference is it's almost as if this fiber was shaved down. Yes. So this towel, this is a Everest 800, can work very well for removing coatings as well because it's got that lower profile nap. Uh, the difference in this towel is its weight. It's a heavier towel. Okay. Um, so 
you're going to have a, uh, it's going to just feel much heavier because the fiber is that much more yeah, dense. Yeah, I, I can feel the difference, guaranteed, you know. yeah. Yeah. So, but even in there, you know, you can still pick the right weave. You just look for the thickness or nap of the fiber um, that'll best suit your, uh, what you need. Um, same with the twist piles. They're a very dense, heavy towel. Okay. But if you look at it, you know, they, they have a bunch of individual loops. Yes. And so technically they do have a nap as well. Okay. Um, but with these towels, they lend themselves to getting very wet uh, and being very absorbent. So do they, uh, by the way, do they call those twisted loops because the fibers themselves yeah. are twisted actual yeah, loops? Yeah, when you get in, when you get in down into it, they're literally just little twisted. Yeah, I can see They're that. literally a loop that has just been That's twisted. twisted. So you have more surface area, let's yeah. say, to absorb more water. Yep. Okay. Yep. And Makes the same sense. goes with the waffles. Yes. The waffles are basically small little boxes. Yeah. And they have four sides on, in each box plus the, the indention. Yep. So if you think of the material, if you had to unfold all those boxes, how much bigger this towel would be. Absolutely. Uh, that's, again, surface area. So the towel is absorbing more and is able to handle uh, more liquid because it fills up each one of these little squares pockets of the yeah. pockets. And that's why we call them a thirst pocket. Absolutely. Because it, that's what they're for, is to so absorb see guys, liquid. Like, as you can see, the, the, just the design of the towels as well makes a big difference in what you're using them for. When you were talking about circular weaves, so what does that look like if we were like in a microscope and looking at them closely? Why do they call them circular? Uh, because uh, there's very small little circles, circles inside in them. each okay. one and how, okay. it's, how it's woven. Okay. Um, and you can get farther down into it and look, uh, and you can kind of see the way it's, it is uh, woven together. Yes. Um, it's, you know, we're talking heavy microscopic Absolutely. look. But the biggest thing, the reason that makes these so great is these are technically open. Where most of these are closed loop yes. construction, circular knits are an open loop. So hence the fingers style. So hence the fingers coming to up. a loop yep. like this there. Exactly. Okay. And so that's what makes this so much different. That's also when people say, oh, I don't like microfiber, it grabs back. Uh, that is because it's a closed loop. And yes. if you think about your skin uh, being almost like Velcro on a microfiber towel, you've got a loop and you've got a hook. Yes. And your skin particles sticking out of your, of your hand if it's very rough is basically a bunch of little hooks and the towel is a bunch is a loop and so people go no i don't like these because they're sticky okay then they come in and they touch these and they go wow these wow. feel really great because yeah. there's no loops okay so that's why they feel plusher. yeah and yeah. and some people mis commonly mistake it and go well that's a split fiber well all microfibers split okay that's what the design of the logo is is it's a split yes uh, of a cross section but what they mean when they talk about a plush is that it's just open it's not a loop so uh that's which by the way you just hit if we can look at your t-shirt that's yeah, your logo that's, it's but a that's split. an actual microfiber yeah it's that, a that's cross section like. of a microfiber okay it's, that's cool it's split and so yep. particulates go up into all those little spots yes um so then going forward onto GSM, grams yes, per square the, the meter. Yes, the big numbers thing. This changes yeah. the way a towel performs. Okay. Um, the GSM, the grams per square meter, is the density of the fiber. So it's not necessarily the thickness of the towel. No. Okay, that's no. a big misconception. So a lot of people think that, oh, this is an 1100 GSM. This is, the, this is, this is what 1100 GSM looks like. Or they grab this and go, Ooh, this is nice and plush. This is 500 GSM. Yeah. This is what a 500 GSM towel is supposed to feel like. Okay. Well, these glass towels are in the 400s. So, and they're not at all the and same. And they're thing not at all. But it's ones. the density of okay. the fiber okay. and the weight that that density creates. Okay. Um, so, we we measure and weigh all these towels, and we know what their weights are. We list them on our website so people can can decide. Um, now. Density helps with pressure points on ultra plush towels. Okay. So things to remember is that when you have, like this is a 350, this is a 500, and yep. this is a 600. Yeah. Those are the different weights listed for these eagles. Uh, this towel is a really great towel, but it's also a very thin towel. Yeah. So for some people, they might find uh, it's not near thick enough between their hand and the surface that they're so working the, that on. So that buffer space between yeah. your hand and the yeah. surface. Okay. So that's why they'll they'll move up to the 500 or they'll find the 600 to be their sweet spot. And maybe we can see these. Yeah, you can. So this is a lot thicker. So yeah, if I apply can, pressure, it'll distribute my force a lot greater yeah. than this one here. Yeah. Okay. And so people will, 
you know, pick the way they want these towels to kind of work and perform for them. And that goes throughout all the line. Uh, same with our terry weaves. We've got a 245 to start out with, and we go all the way up to a 420 GSM with the uh, terries. Okay. So, like, we've got this green one right in here. This is a 245, so it's a very, very thin, thin yeah. towel. Yeah. Very, you know, light, airy. Uh, this is a great towel for interior dirty jobs, all things like stuff, that. Yeah. This is a true all-purpose towel. Yeah. Um, because it's an 80-20, but it's a very thin towel. Then you step up 50 GSM, 55 GSM, and go to the 300. Yes. So we have the edges of 300. Flusher. Yeah. You can feel the difference in the weight between Absolutely. them, but this does one other thing. This steps up from an 80-20 to a 70-30 blend. So now this towel is a very soft, nice towel. Because of the polyamide content right. that we just increased. Right. Okay. So, however, this, our standard all-purpose Terry, is 320 GSM. Okay. But it's an 80-20 blend. So just like the 245, yes. they're both 80-20s, they're both, they're both the same type of terry weave, mm -hmm. but again, uh, this is 245 GSM, this is 320 GSM. So if people find, oh, I just need a little bit more, yes. this is the industry standard. 320 GSM, 16-16, 80-20 towel, yeah. this is the number one towel in the world yeah. uh, that it, when people think of microfiber. Yep. But, it's not, it's, it's a good towel. Is, could it be improved upon? Yes. So that's when we up the blend Yes. and go to a 70-30. And now we have a much softer, much more absorbent towel than this one. So then, depending on the person's needs, there's towels for literally any type of use exactly. that you can find. Well, then let's say this towel, you love the blend, you love the 300, the 300 but you need just a little more cushion. Yep. You step up to the 365. And so that and there, yeah, Angelus 365 yep. is... 65 GSM heavier. Yes. That's it. And uh, again, 70-30 blend, but like we've heard, 300, 320 to 365, 380 yep. is the sweet, the sweet spot, spot for yep. microfiber. I agree. So that's why we did uh, an Eagle Edgeless in a 350, in the yes. purple. Yes. Uh, that's why we have the, we have the all-purpose Terry's in the 320 GSM. That's why we have the Edgeless 300 and Edgeless 365. Yes. So folks that maybe don't yep. want the overlock stitch and want a 70-30 blend, yep. this gets them in the door. Perfect. And they can do something. Now, before you, get you to go there, forward, yes. you just spoke about something. You're talking about overlock stitch. So I've seen we have sat, uh, silk edges, yes. we have satin edges. Or suede. Or suede, and then you get these ones edges. who are edgeless. That's knife cut. So what are the differences in the, the way, the, why some have edges and why do some not have any we edges? We will go on to that okay. as soon as I finish GSM. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> the last one, 420 GSM. Yeah. That is the Creatures and the Spectrums. Uh, these again are terry weave, but they are a dual purpose. So this has a short nap and this has a much longer nap on the so side. So each side has a different style. Each side style. has a okay. different nap. And so the beauty of this towel is that it can, uh, you can use it to remove compounds, you can remove, use it to remove polishes, you can use it for spray waxes, you can use it for removing. We have people that use it to remove coatings. Um, they love this towel. And again, this towel is identical to the rest of these in the sense that it is a terry weave towel. Okay. But it is a 70-30 and it has 420 GSM, so it's a much thicker towel. And the reason for that is it lends itself because of that extra long nap on the other side. Yes. It has added the density of that, that weight to so the towel. So plusher, denser, thicker. Oh. Yep, yeah, and same thing with uh, this, this Minx is a 360 GSM uh, towel, and it is a very thin, very light, very airy, but once it's wet, it feels, I mean, it feels like a Eagle 500 yeah. because it's so thick when it's full of liquid. So. Yep. Um, those are the different GSMs, and like I said, the waffles are a much heavier GSM. They're about 590 because, again, the surface area compared to you know some of these thousand GSM towels. Uh, does it make this much better than the others? No, it's personal preference. That's it. It's not a question of what's better or what's worse. No. There's just different grades, different yep. styles. This this yeah. towel is just as equally as good as the 300 yeah. because they're both 70-30 blends. Okay. Uh, so they're both very absorbent and very soft and they're not going to harm the finish. Uh, but if you are, let's say you have a very nice car that you want to keep clean, you want to maybe just wipe it down yep. every once in a while, you could use this. Yep. But we also make this. And for folks who want the 
biggest, softest, plushest towel. We've got it covered. There you go. Okay. You, we have it for you if you want it. 